Hello, 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 guys. Kelly from Mystical Madness. Good morning to you, baby. <laughs> I am going to do a reading here for Taurus. How is everyone? I just wanted to share some. I haven't been posting videos because I've had a lot of uh, reports and, and um, just like negative. And I usually don't let people hinder me. And I know that's what's happening here. Um, that's why I haven't been posting. And then I got a, a message in my, my downloads in my dreams that I should be doing this. And then I could get better at it. And I, I do enjoy it. I just don't like the drama that's involved with it. Sometimes that's what I, you know. Okay, what do we got here? I don't know why that might be a message for somebody. Starting a channel. All right. We had three that fell out. Not sure if I can take them. To, or if I should have took them. But I can tell you. That this has been in the Taurus reading for a while here. Because I'm a Taurus. Queen of Swords. Beautiful and intuitive. And. Just. Very, very uh, good intuition with the Queen of Swords. She's got the direct, you know, uh, message, maybe getting uh, downloads. Um, you know, the sword's up because something may have happened in the past. As I say that, the hangman here. So... You could the queen of you could be the queen of swords and you're in uh, Taurus and you're in still in hangman mode or or this could be your person in the queen of swords um, energy and they are stuck. Seven of Pentacles. This is like so planting seeds sometimes. Uh, but it's also like taking a look at your money, worrying sometimes that you don't have enough. Um, you know, um, I feel like I never thought this before, but keeping one pentacle only for yourself, but given, given all these others, you know, they're gone. Uh, maybe overspending. Um, I don't know. I never looked at that card that way until today. Alright. I wasn't ready to go to the bottom of the deck, but I did see it. And it's very strongly telling me that there was a heart break here. And that I should have taken that card. Oh. Okay, so we got a Knight of Pentacles. That is a very nice... Um, I love the Knight of Pentacles. Um, people say, oh, it's just a knight. Or, you know, like they refer to a knight. Kind of like a, a page, but... Look how still that horse is. This is this this person knows what they're coming in for, and they know they got their money in check. They know what they they got. Could be a very analytical person, and he's going on a journey here. This is falling under the Queen of Swords. Interesting here. We got an Empress. So, Taurus, this is probably you still in the hangman. Or, that could be your person stuck. You know, because they know you're the Empress here. Oh, 
No, no, no. Because of that heartbreak. Alright. Yep. Uh, five of Cups in the past here. What You're walking away from... This is like a walking away from the bullshit or walking away. Alright, look at it this way. Ten of Cups is, is the most love you could receive in tarot. This is all you got. This is all you got was the Five of Cups. That could have been what the heartbreak was, that it never, never took off, or you could have, could have had a, you know, some kind of conflict that happened. I don't know. I don't know, but I know I'm pretty positive that I was supposed to go this, this route for sure with the bottom of the deck. That's what always ends up working for me. I don't know why. Maybe because I'm a beginner. <laughs> that uh, God gives me a little hand there, but... Lovers, under the heartbreak card. So, well, lovers card isn't always like, when you get the lovers card in tarot, it's not always like, oh, the, uh, the lovers, it's, it's a decision. Between two people, okay? Um, I have to think here for a second because it's, or I'm just going to, I'm just going to ask for some more guidance because, I mean, don't get me wrong, this is a great card to get, but it's fallen under the heartbreak and then that five of cups came out, so it's kind of telling me that you might be walking away from, like, something like a marriage or, um, or, you know, this, like I said, this is a, de a decision, so you could have a decision to make about that heartbreak and that's you in hangman mode. Alright, let's go on here. Spirit, oh, I can't go on because I know this is the story. Unfortunately, I'm a Taurus. I've been following this. Not unfortunately, I, I'm grateful. I don't know why I said that. But we got somebody from the past that wants to come in and give you a six of cups, give you the flowers. That you, um, this is definitely um, under this Knight of Pentacles here. So... Pa this Knight of Pentacles could be a past person coming in. Yes. High Priestess falling under the Empress card. So, um, Taurus, you're an Empress. And you're also a High Priestess. And I think you already know what's going on here. Because the High Priestess uh, pretty much is very intuited, intuitive. Has, uh, I, I can't say direct connection to the divine, but definitely is able to, um, be guided. It's very hard to, and when I say guided, here's why I say guided. And I feel like this, this might help somebody. Um, 30 years of addiction and abusive uh, relationship with a narcissist and everybody knew what was going on you know with me being manipulated I was doing what I thought I had to do I got married at 17 pushed into it because Catholic Italian I'm not gonna I this is my story I think I may may have told you before there's way more to it but once I knew that I was being manipulated and I'll tell you how I, you know, okay, I had to, I literally was going to meetings. I was doing the, you know, um, getting down on my knees every day, praying, doing the self-analysis at night. And then, because I kept asking for help, it started coming to me. He's fucking me over right now. He's stealing from me, my own husband. And then I was like, you know, I've. And that's when, what I call high priestess, because I was very naive. It wasn't like, um, 
I didn't see what was going on. I was just raised that you got to take care of that man and you got to do what a woman has to do. That's how I was raised. So now I say high priestess for me and empress is being able, being able to discern when you're being manipulated or when somebody is genuine. And sometimes... I can pick up an energy like, boom, like that. Like, just by looking at a person, I'm like, and I'll just go now because I, cause I know that I was, I'm a spitfire. I've calmed down a lot. I'm not going to change that part of me, but, but I, I, um, I don't know. I, I hope this story uh, is for somebody because everybody, you know, people may judge. Oh, high priestess, high priestess. It's a tarot card, Okay. What it means is that you ha you are very intuitive. You have a gift. Not everybody can pick up that that energy or that person is gonna do is gonna ruin my day and be able to you know know who to stay away from you know. So sometimes I think people, and I don't know why I keep saying people. That's ignorant to say that. Maybe because I know that I can't tell many people in my family about this tarot. People don't just, they overthink or judge. I don't want to get into the religion card, but I can tell you that I was raised and went to a Catholic school, okay? And I believe in God, and only God, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. And Spirit to me is, you know, part of the, the, the three that's who I channel with. I have never had anything else. So that's just, I feel like for somebody who may be struggling with, uh, like I did with the, the Catholic thing, and here's what helped me. When I got in trouble and I went to one of those churches where I could just be myself and you know, just let it all loose. That's when I said, I'm not sticking to one thing. I know there's a God up there. And that's when I actually started getting, you know, I could feel that I was definitely being guided by God. And what I mean by that is I was just going with the flow. I wasn't scared anymore. I was scared for so many years until I became this. I hope that's a help somebody, and I hope you guys don't think I'm talking about myself. I really feel like I, I, that story may help somebody. Because, you know, there was a there was a ton of swords here, and, and a lot of conflict that happened here. This Eight of Pentacles, uh, this is someone working on their money, so... Maybe that's, you know, what, what was happening here. Someone had to, you got Knight of Pentacles coming in here. Okay, yeah, you guys are going on a, you're definitely going out on a journey. You could be traveling or something like that together. Oh, and I don't even have to ask for clarification. Here's the sun card. Illuminating, illuminating this. Taurus, I hope this comes in for you. You know who you're waiting on. So. Six of Pentacles. Equal give and take. And we. Yep. I just did a reading before this. That talked about. Um, the, the Four of Pentacles. Was really strong in that last reading. For all signs. Uh, you might want to go check that out. Have a good day guys. Sorry I went on and on. But I hope that story helps somebody. I, I um, had a very tough life. And doing, you know, this has got me through a very tough time this past year. Not only did I leave one relationship, I had, I got duped by somebody else right after. Just didn't have a good, uh, you know, good time. But guess what? I feel peaceful and happy now. So, thank you.